Shalom everyone, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Psalm 16, verse 4. And I'm just going to be reading the first line, and this is from God's Word translation. It says, Those who quickly chase after other gods multiply their sorrows. A god is anything that you serve, that you put before the Lord God of Israel. So anything can become a god. Your bank account can become your god. Your career can become your god. Uh, your reputation, um, your influence can become your god. Uh, your sexual appetite can become your god. Uh, food can become your god. Those things that you per pursue and chase after with abandon have become your god. And it says, those who quickly chase after other gods multiply their sorrows. Why? Because when you only have one god, the Lord God of Israel, the God of the Bible, you only have one god to please. And he, and, and, and he has made it plain and clear uh, how you he wants uh, you to serve and worship him and to please him. and you know, that's simply to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as, as yourself. Very, very simple. But when you have other gods, your priorities are divided. Your loyalties are divided. You remember what Yeshua said? He said, no man can serve two masters. Either he will love the one or hate the other. He will uh, despise the one and, and serve the other. You can't serve both God and money, wealth. So he, even in that context, wealth is seen as a god, a lowercase g, a god. So if you have many gods, you have divided loyalties, you have divided priorities. You're struggling, and, and um, you, you create sorrow for yourself because you're, you're trying to get extra hours at work. You're trying to find – get – rich quick schemes you're trying to find extra ways to to make money whether it's odd jobs or or, or uh, pawning your uh, goods or, or whatever and somebody asked one of the richest people in the world one time um you know how how much is enough you know don't you think that you're rich enough you know when will you be satisfied how much is enough how much more do you need and he just kind of smiled and he's like just a little more it's always just a little more because it's never enough you know, it's just it's just like a fire. A fire consumes everything, and and, a, and it's never enough for a fire. It's not like a fire eats and burns wood and burns everything. Says, mm, okay, well, I think I've had enough. I'm going to go out now. No, it just never stops. And that's just like greed. That's just like the pursuit of money. Your career can become your god because you can sacrifice your family on the on the altar, basically, uh, the altar of, of time with your family and say, no, 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 you know, I need I need to step up the the executive ladder. I need to make it to the top. I need to make that employee of the month. You know, this is the only thing that brings me meaning and fulfill fulfillment in my life. What happens when they give you the pink slip and say, oh, well, you're fired or, oh, we had to cut back, so we laid you off? You know, where where does that leave you? You know, so some people make the career their career their god, and they get divorced, and their kids don't want anything to do with them is because they have uh, put their work before their family. So there's many other things that that uh, could be your god, and it says that when you have many gods, that you multiply your sorrows. Those who quickly chase after other gods multiply their sorrows. So don't put anything before the Lord God of Israel because it's so easy and simple to serve him. We know exactly what it takes to please him. And as long as you're walking in the footsteps of Yeshua, our Messiah, by walking and following in his word, loving the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself, you're not going to have any divided loyalties. You're not going to you're you know you're not going to multiply your sorrows because if you're pleasing God, you're going to have your priorities straight and you're going to be living right and you're going to be uh, pleasing and loving other people. Because uh, even Yeshua, when he was little and growing up, it says that he grew, uh, you know, in favor of God and man because he put God first in his life. So that's what we got to do, folks. Uh, Let's get rid of our other idols, our other gods, our other pursuits, and just focus on pursuing and pleasing the Lord God. And when we do, everything's going to fall into place. Hey, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and Shavua Tov. Abrahamsdescendants.com, getting back to the first century in a 21st century way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the like button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and the notification bell that'll let you know every time I make a new video. 
and don't forget to share this with a friend. Also, visit our website at abrahamsdescendants.com. Thanks. Shalom. Thanks for watching. Stay connected by subscribing to our other social media accounts and visiting our website at abrahamsdescendants.com.